Many times the shape of a bone defect caused by periodontitis is such that treatment can be directed towards getting bone to fill the defect. Sometimes the shape of the defect can be determined before a surgery, but in many cases the defect needs to be directly seen in order to make a final determination as to whether the defect will allow for any bone fill. In an effort to get bone fill at the time of surgery, a bone graft can be performed. The material used in such a bone graft can be from a variety of sources. In some cases, it can be taken from an area adjacent to the bone defect. If no bone is available, it can be obtained from a bone tissue bank, or it can be a synthetic bone graft material. If bone is from a tissue bank, such material is freeze-dried, demineralized bone that is sterilized and does not need to be tissue matched since there is no identifying protein. In a bone graft, the bone graft material does not directly turn into bone, but rather induces your body to form bone in an area where bone would not otherwise form. To get the correct type of tissue to fill the defect, the surgery may include the placement of a membrane over the bone defect. The membrane is a special type of material that is well tolerated by your body. This membrane or barrier is used to keep soft tissue from getting into the defect, Limiting the type of tissue that can get into the defect encourages the defect to be filled with bone and connective tissue derived from bone. The membrane typically is kept in place from four to six weeks, then either needs to be removed or is absorbed by your body. The defect will take longer for the tissue or bone to mature, but over time, probing depths will be reduced, making the defect easier to maintain.